Shannon, thank you. Now to that identity theft ring. More than 100 people arrested, and police say while they were based in New York, their ties stretched all the way to Europe, Africa, even the Middle East. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Fleischer is live in Elmhurst with details. Tim? And Sade, this is the largest identity fraud takedown in U.S. history. More than 100 people arrested, and from stores and malls like this one, millions and millions of dollars in merchandise stolen. High-end cars, jetting around in private planes, and flashing cash. Gobs of cash, in fact. $650,000 confiscated as police began rounding up 111 suspects in the largest identity fraud takedown in U.S. history. This operation reached from Jamaica Bay to the shores of Tripoli and victimized thousands of Americans, <clears throat> including innocent New Yorkers. Five alleged theft rings headed, police say, by Imram Khan, Ali Kweiss, Anthony Martin, Sanjay Diyasaran, and Amar Singh. Five enterprises have loose ties to each other and that they shared things like fences and identification makers but they had their own shoppers. Others would then take the stolen credit cards, go into numerous malls like this one in Queens, and purchase electronic equipment and other high-end items from around the country which would then be sold overseas. Their crimes amounted to approximately $13 million in fraudulent purchases. Another crew of seven police reveal stole 45 computer servers here at the Citigroup building in Long Island City, valued at $850,000 former security guard uh, put our perpetrators in touch with a, uh, a Citibank security guard who let them in uh, and showed them where the servers were. And it didn't stop there. Investigators say they targeted Lufthansa Cargo here at JFK where they were hoping to score a load of MacBook laptops worth a million dollars. But these would-be good fellows had bad information and wound up with cordless power tools. So far, 85 of them have been arrested. They're still looking for another 25. Reporting live in Elmhurst, Queens, Tim Fleischer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Okay.